Dramatic entrance start exe. Whoop de doo. Disunified versus scuffed station gaming. Boom. Happened. And a lot of you guys, if you saw what happened, if you watched Mertzi's video or watched Johnny Boy's live stream of it, you would know that my performance was quite, quite horrific, to be honest with you. Big celebrity gamer Linkaroo sucked major ass. So in this video, I just want to address a couple things related to that show match and, uh, and certain reactions to that. And also I want to talk about my performance. I've been thinking about it a lot, but that to me seems like the biggest weakness I have as a player. Whenever there's like a need for me to prove myself to someone or multiple people, or in this case it could literally be thousands of people, everyone who's watching the event, like in a way I want to like show them, hey look at me, I can play good, I'm good at Rocket League. Basically after that whole event, I sort of, I just lost it, I was like, you know what, I am a done I am sick and tired of sucking at Rocket League I decided out of complete like pure anger and motivation I'm going to play that crap out of this game from now on and not only am I just playing because I think just playing isn't necessarily an effective way to improve I'm doing a lot more than just playing I'm pinpointing things that I feel like are my weaknesses like mechanics that I feel like I need to work on, you know, the mentality that I need to work on, and making sure that I focus on those things specifically. The past couple weeks I've been playing almost 42 hours of Rocket League. I think pro players play somewhere between like 50 to 70 hours. Training drills every day, training packs, just messing around in free play, playing some ranked games, practicing all modes like 3v3, 2v2, 1v1, trying to cover all the bases because I think every mode has its benefits and things that you can learn from them. You know, 1v1s is very mechanics based, very, you know, you cannot make a single mistake. But yeah, before we get deeper into my performance, I wanna, I wanna address hate comments, basically. So I watched Mertzi's video on it, and I specifically chose not to scroll down to the comments because I knew for a goddamn fact that there was gonna be a shit ton of hate comments towards me or just anything negative about the whole situation going on there. So I kind of want to look into the comments right now and sort of have my first reaction of what's, what kind of shit storm is going to slap me in the face in a second. I like how everyone's suddenly hating on Linkeru. Bro, get my f name right. If you're going to like be nice to me at least. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Like, we don't all have times when we're just off our game. Wanted to see you guys win, but just aren't fortunate how that goes. Hey. I mean, that's kind of nice. Oh, 42 replies and a thousand freaking likes. I'm actually really surprised to see this. I didn't expect any positivity towards me. Hold up, let me get out my gold medal of honor to hate on Linkeru real quick. Why is everyone saying Linkeru? That's not my name, goddammit. Link is the most toxic gamer out there. If he can dish it out, I'm sure he can take it. I, I feel like a lot of people have this impression on me, and I don't really know where it comes from. I know I'm kind of a troll and shit, you know, I, I like to make jokes and shit, but... I don't feel like I'm toxic, like when am I ever toxic? Can someone make like a Linkaroo toxic compilation or something so I can get a better view of what this means? Like, why do people think I'm toxic? Link thinks that he's a lot better than Sunless. Sunless is better, definitely. I don't think Sunless is garbage or anything, I think... Even recently, he's been improving a lot, like, he's actually getting good, from what I've seen. So, no disrespect to Sunless, he's a great guy, he makes great content, and he's also becoming good at the game now, so, you know, all all big respect for him, man. But I'd beat his ass. Dead ass. <laughs> uh, you guys need to realize that this was all for fun, and stop being so toxic to Leth and Linkaroo. I do agree, it's all for fun. Of course, we want to prove ourselves as a team, and it would have been fun to beat them. Um, in fact, to me, it wasn't even about winning so much, but just been, just being completely crushed by a team that we felt that was sort of on par with us. It's a little bit frustrating because you feel like you shouldn't be crushed in this case. What? He's pretty awful and he's the type of guy to think he's really good. I genuinely don't know where people get these ideas of me. I, it's so weird to me to see these opinions. 
please make some kind of Linkaroo toxic egotistical prick compilation so that I can get a better idea of where this is coming from. I'm not even kidding. I want to see that on my subreddit or something. Someone put it up there. Usually if I'm acting cocky or something, it's, it's just sarcasm. I'm just trying to, you know... I'm not being serious. You know, we've been talking about it recently with the team, with Mertzi and Osa. We were talking about how we should uh, focus more on having fun in the future with tournaments. Uh, like, we, we plan on making more videos of us just playing ranked or playing through tournaments. I think it's gonna be super fun. I'm really excited for disunified content. Regardless of everything, we're still the greatest team in Rocket League, so... One day we will beat the shit out of Scuff Station. Okay, maybe not. We'll just have fun. Okay, so when it comes to my performance, now I want to get more deeper into that because I feel like there's something of value to talk about here. There's something I can share with you guys. Maybe we can go on a journey to improve together. Right now, my goal is to hit 1800 MMR in threes. I do plan on doing tournaments, not only with Disunified, but with a couple of friends and anytime I get a chance to do so. If I want to work on this mentality issue of mine, this uh, performance anxiety issue, I'm gonna have to force myself out of my comfort zone and repeatedly put myself in situations where I have to battle my performance anxiety. I just have to get used to it, you know? I need to learn to deal with the pressure, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going ham, guys, I'm going ham! Alright, I'm not going easy on myself, I'm gonna push myself to my, my goddamn top limit as far as I can go. Am I going pro at the Rocket League? Probably not, but that's not the goal really. Now that I'm playing a lot more Rocket League, I'm also gonna get a lot more clips and a lot more footage for different kinds of content, so hopefully that's also gonna spark up, you know, a new motivation, a new era of my YouTube channel as well. I think that would be super fun. I'm gonna try my best to not only improve myself, but also just give you guys any tips along the way that I learn. That's gonna be interesting. We'll see how it goes, but last thing I want to do in this video is analyze a little bit of the replays that we have from playing against Scuff Station Gaming. I don't know, I'm just going through some of the funny shit that happened. This would be the first loss we took. In case you weren't aware, we only won two games. We lost the first 3v3, which I believe this uh, replay is from. I'm kind of hoping that one day we can do this again with uh, Scuff Station Gaming and other teams as well. Let's focus on everyone today. Um, yeah, I don't think I should have jumped for that boost, honestly. I just sort of get, got in the way. Definitely my bad. First mistake. I literally made a mistake two seconds into the first game, dude. <laughs> okay, here we go. Backboard shot. I missed that. Boom! Second mistake. So far, I haven't done a single thing right. Man, I, can't, I couldn't even remember it starting this bad. In fairness, I don't think I played totally garbage. I think there's a lot of good things I did during this game. Um, I liked what I was doing here, you know, I blocked the ball quite well. But that's what it is. Demo, demo Sunless there, I think. Boom. See, I'm, I've done a couple good things so far. Uh, this was a complete mess. I'm gonna- I actually have already watched this replay once, uh, not fully through, but, uh, I think one issue here is Mer Mercy rotating ball side. Which is something we've talked about a lot as a team. So, what I think I could have done here was go for this pad and then be ready for this save. So, I did go for corner boost and set instead. It, it happens. It happens. Okay, I think this is our first goal. It's kind of an ass goal. To be fair, both goals so far have been kind of ass, you know? <laughs> Not really show match worthy, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Boom, just... Oh man, it's so hard to beat left to a ball, man. This guy's a goddamn ex-pro player, like, what are you gonna do, man? He knows, like, exactly how to maneuver around you, how to just... Any situation, just get the ball around you. Uh, he's amazing. Uh, but... God, don't you just hate these? Like, when you try to go for that corner ball... You try to jump off this wall, but instead what happens is you jump you jump from this wall to this wall, and you're just stuck. Oh, we get balled here again. Absolute, mm, just maniac pass from Musty. OSM was complaining a lot that I was too close to him at all times, and here's an example of that for sure. Literally just right behind his ass for no reason. Boom, double touch. See, okay, this is one of those situations where I get really confused. So, in my mind, it's like, okay, OSM hit the ball. Right? It looked like he sort of centered it, so I'm like, okay, it's my turn to go for it. But then he's still trying to go for this boost, he's still trying to go for the ball, which is actually fair 
Um, he probably he should be going for it. Obviously, communication is the best way to figure out those situations, but I honestly don't remember what our communication was in that situation. Okay, I'm here. I'm in. One more. Oh, he missed. Oh, what the fuck, man? I feel like I wouldn't have gone up there if he would have told me that he's going for it. You just look how nervous I am. I missed the easiest ball of all time. Not that it matters, because we still scored, but still, like, the fact that I went for that, I committed to that ball, and I still missed it, is just ridiculous. Uh, ready for Mertz to challenge it. I don't know how Sunless was constantly beating Mertz, God damn it! <laughs> how you get beat by Sunless, dude. This does go into overtime, which is kind of interesting. Ooh, okay, this one was a tricky one. Um, if I had better control there... If I wasn't so goddamn nervous and I actually knew how to catch this ball in an efficient way, I could have usually just pushed it to the right side. I believe so, at least. Um, regardless, I did a good job of keeping it away from both Leth and Musty there. The issue is just that once I did that, the ball was in a very vulnerable position and Musty just rotated around and hits it into an open net. Um, I'm not going to go through this whole match, I'll just skip to the goal that we conceded. The only goal we conceded in this match. Oh my lord. Okay, so, yeah, this was definitely my bad. So, what happened was... I was gonna say miscommunication, but it's actually not, because I actually communicated. I said, I'm going for this. Mertzi wanted to turn around and go for it. And because I said I'm going for it, he stopped and didn't. He didn't commit to it. Basically, I pre-jumped super, super far away. I didn't even get to the ball. I think what I thought was going to happen, that it wasn't going to hit the ceiling, but it did hit the ceiling, so it's, it went down way quicker. I thought it was going to like float around here, and then I'd be easily first to it, but that's not what happened. So, my teammates were like yelling at me and be like, you, you, you gotta call when you're ready. The thing is, in my mind, I was ready. I thought that that was easily going to be my ball, because I didn't think it was going to hit the ceiling. Um, for me, I feel like it's strange of Mertie to turn around here. I'm not entirely sure. The, the reason why I also thought it was okay for me to go for this was because I assumed Mertie was going to rotate back. And even if I miss this ball, he's still going to be here ready to defend. In which case, it would have been all good. I also don't remember him communicating that he was going for that ball. I'll go. Yep. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> ah. uh, just... You said I got it, you took it. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting it. you to rotate back there when I said that. Yeah, but you pre-jumped the fuck out of it. Yeah, but... <sighs> Just do call-outs. I got call it. Out. Well, I called it out. Yeah, but when you're actually ready, you weren't ready. Again, like, I don't blame them. Don't, don't feel any kind of negativity towards my teammates, you know? It is what it is, you know? In the heat of the moment, shit happens. Everyone's... Everyone makes mistakes, you know? It is... It is what it is. Thank you guys for slamming your eyeballs onto the screen for this channel. Genuinely, I do appreciate all the positive comments. Like, anyone sort of defending me in this, I don't think I necessarily deserve to be defended against, but... Or that I even need that, but, um... It's nice to know that not the whole world is against me, you know? It's just... Because that's how I sometimes feel, and I, I feel like that's a lot of the source of my anxiety as well, is because I feel like everyone thinks I'm garbage and everyone just hates me as a human being, so I sort of always feel like I need to prove something. It's kind of nice to know that there's people who do appreciate me and do show support, even when I'm being, you know, smacked down and bonked by a thousand people. I, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. I actually even changed my camera settings recently, and I changed a lot of my sensitivity settings. Um, I used to have the sensitivities, both of these, at literally just one. And I realized that that was really slow and stiff, so I've increased it up to 150. Camera settings are like, I think it's astral settings or something like that. So yeah, that's about it. Subscribe. Like. Linkaroo. Done. Peace. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LABB who we running with. Yeah. 2233. I'm on 10 again. Yeah. State your name. Bibbing dope on flame.